News for commuter rail now. Congressman John Micah and Alan Grayson say SunRail can now head to OIA. Today, SunRail received a blessing from the U.S. Transportation Department. It will help the state seek up to $75 million in federal money. That's about half the cost of what it'll take to get it. So early this year, the state DOT told News 6 it hoped to tie SunRail into a new transportation hub added at Orlando International Airport. Tracks will run about five and a half miles between the airport and the Sand Lake Road SunRail station. SunRail hopes to start that service by 2020. Good news for 